you supposed to give me a staff? Oh, I've heard you're searching for a Daedric artifact to be consumed in a ritual to reach Mankar Keller. Is that right? Why do you ask? It's an important decision. One, on the other hand, you need to help a Daedric prince. They're very greatly and make they vary greatly, and making a wrong decision can cause a lot of damage for this world. Then there's the issue of the artifact. Some are harmless, others outright evil and dangerous. Another decision of grave impact. So that's another great thing. There's this whole monologue or dialogue speech thing about one quest of the main quest. <laughs> Some princes are different about mortals. They will not cause harm in this world. Others are even a bit benevolent and will enrich mortal lives without causing permanent damage. And for some malevolent serving them will bring harm upon everybody involved. Lastly, some are just idiots who will cause great damage without intended it. Which princes I should not serve? More importantly, most importantly, clap a smile, surprised. I've heard what he's after, but it will tear him asunder and will create a great evil in the future. Do not help him in his quest. Molag Bal, King of Rick, he'd likely ask you to corrupt souls. Do not do this. Azura, she may appear benevolent, but in reality she is just vain and wants to be loved. Her indifference towards actual consequences will someday or another cause great grief. Azura can only cares about Azura and nothing else. Hermes Mora, the kind of knowledge he seeks can only be gained through the darkest magics. Don't let yourself be drawn into it. Mafala, no one has, a much, has as much blood on her, his hands, what he, she, it, or ask you will likely add even more blood to it. Don't let yourself be drawn into Mafala's web of murder and thoughts. Amira will prevent any amendments for her followers. Those would be the ones I can think of at the moment. Oh, and of course not Mayrin Stagon, though I doubt he would want to have anything to do with you. Which princes can I safely serve? First and foremost, the Lord Shagor. He may play with the minds of mortals, but only to make their lives more interesting. He is a good lord. Meridia is not directly interested in mortal affairs, but Undead and necromancers are an issue, and she is opposed to both. Safe men. Nocturnal is another prince who won't ask you to cause any harm. Same is true for Pyro. Person will likely ask you to hunt a beast. No problem with that. Boethia, well, he will also cause you to shed blood. But it will be that of volunteers. Who knew what they were getting at? Romina has one of the most frightening realms, but it's a realm made of dreams. She doesn't benefit from mortals finding their end, so her task won't be too detrimental to. Sanguine's task won't be too bloody too. For those, he has his private cadre of Daedra. I think of Turumer and similar individuals, so his task will likely be more on the cheerful side of him. I think I have covered it all. Yes, you did. I need a drink. About Daedra artifacts. Some are more dangerous than others. Some should be taken out of this world for a while at least. Others won't cause harm on their own. I'd rather see you keep the more harmless ones. Which one should be destroyed? First and foremost, Azura Star. There's no tool in our purpose as evil and dangerous as it. If only it could be undone for good. The Occam Infinium carries knowledge that is dangerous. Better have it disappear for a while. The Grey Cowl of Nocturnal is cursed. If you ever acquire it, get rid of it, should you be able to do so. The Ring of Khajiit has a dangerous mind of its own, and can leave you when you least expect it. Considering that you can't depend on it, you could also go ahead and have it destroyed. And lastly, the Skeleton Key. It's upsetting the balance between home and shop owners versus thieves. That's dangerous. Although really, if there is one artifact to be destroyed, it's Azura's star. Without any doubt. 
which artifacts should be kept. All kinds of weapons and armors are generally safe. The wielder decides their use, and I'm sure you will use them wisely. Three in particular shouldn't be given away, considering that they are all able to cause great damage. Tamerun's Dagon, the Spear of Bitter Mercy, the Moon Raver, and the Daedric Scourge. Don't give them away. They'd be better put to use in an actual fight than in rituals. Thanks for informing me. A necessity. Choose wisely. Okay. Murkarup is finished. You achieved a lot more than we dared to imagine.